two major uh, vehicle plants in North America, an awesome factory in, in China, and uh, one in Europe that I was just uh, at recently. But this is going to be a huge uh, improvement for, for Tesla. We are all aware of Tesla's Gigafactory, a site where Tesla will mass produce its vehicles, not only ramping up their numbers, but also decreasing their costs. However, do you know that there are not one, but seven total Gigafactories in the world? Yep, you heard that right. Seven colossal buildings producing Tesla vehicles at lightning speed. But how is each Tesla factory doing individually as of now? And what are its recent developments? This is what we're going to discuss in today's video, so let's get going. Number one, Giga Texas. First, let's see Giga Texas, one of the most renowned Tesla facilities. On September 17th, Tesla announced on their Twitter account that production at the Texas Giga Factory had topped 10,000 Model Y automobiles. This is certainly wonderful news and is really outstanding for a facility that just began production in April, especially considering that we are aware that things got off to a difficult start. Now, due to the fact that the initial deployment of the Model Y, which included the 4680 cells and structural battery packs, did not go according to plan, early delivery numbers were low. This led Elon Musk to joke that the plant had been nothing but a gigantic money furnace. The fortunes have shifted for Musk, and now that same money furnace is acting as a money printer. 2170 Model Ys are now rolling off the assembly line, and the production is scheduled to climb up to 5,000 cars per week by the time the year comes to a close. Number 2. Giga Berlin Next, we have Giga Berlin, Tesla's factory in Germany, Europe. Statements have been coming out of Germany this week that have dispelled some of the rumors and misconceptions that have been circulating about Tesla's intentions for the manufacturing manufacturing of batteries and expansion at Giga Berlin. We are always aware that the concept for Giga Berlin was to construct the Model Y with 4680 battery cells, structural packs, and front-end Giga castings. This would have made it the most technologically advanced Model Y design to date. However, that didn't quite work out the way we had all anticipated it would. The entire process was held up because of problems with the production of the 4680, and the plant eventually started producing producing with the normal 2170 cells and skateboard packs. We've been expecting this facility to switch to 4680 manufacture, but there has been no indication as to when that would occur. And this has led some individuals to question whether or not it will really take place at all. However, it was confirmed by Mayor Arne Christian that the proposed battery facility at the Gigafactory site, which is rumored to be part of a larger expansion proposal for 100 hectare, is still a possibility. The proposed battery facility would make cells for Tesla automobiles constructed at Giga Berlin and create an estimated 2,000 jobs in the surrounding area. The company has placed a high priority on bringing as much of the production loop as possible in-house in order to cut down on the expenses of transportation and increase productivity. However, earlier reports suggested that the expansion might be put on hold for a number of reasons, and there was no mention of the enormous development plan anywhere on the agenda of the town council meeting they were holding. The Wall Street Journal published a story that served as the basis for this. It was stated that Tesla would abandon their intentions to build 4680 cells at Giga Berlin and instead move the equipment to the United States. This was supposedly done to assist the firm in obtaining additional tax incentives under the newly enacted Inflation Reduction Act, although this could make sense given that the United States is now offering enormous tax incentives for any battery cells and packs that are created within the country. Tesla already possesses a sufficient amount of cash to work with. It does not appear to be worthwhile to cripple your brand new German manufacturing merely to reduce your tax liability in the United States. The local German news sites also joined in on the conversation by stating that Tesla's battery facility expansion had been pulled from the agenda of the local council. Mayor Christian set the record straight by stating that he did not take Tesla off the schedule because the company was never 
even included on the agenda in the first place. In May, Tesla submitted an application to extend its Giga Berlin network. Consequently, the application was being debated by more relevant community organizations before it could be placed before the city council for consideration. Number three, Giga Shanghai. Upgrades at Tesla's factory in Shanghai have also been finished and the facility can now begin to ramp up production in order to reach its goal of 20 200 vehicles being produced each day. It was confirmed in a recent announcement by the government of Shanghai. The new production lines would be tested from September 19 through November, and the recent renovations to the facilities are anticipated to make it possible for a significant increase in both output and employment levels. It has been anticipated that Once Tesla's production line is running at full capacity, the company will be able to hire more than 4,000 additional workers. Grace Tao, the vice president of Tesla China, has mentioned that Giga Shanghai's supply chain has been around 95 percent localized. So any increase in production at the factory would mean a bump to the supply chains as well. As the company has worked hard at ramping up new factories in Europe and North America, Giga Shanghai has acted as Tesla's main export hub to keep delivery numbers going strong. However, the factory has had a difficult year with a big suspension of production occurring at the end of March due to China putting some very stringent COVID combating measures into effect. Despite these obstacles, Giga Shanghai shattered production records in the month of June and Tesla anticipates that by the end of 2022, the facility could be able to produce approximately 5,000 vehicles every day. Number four, Canada. And last but not least, we have some news about the upcoming Tesla factory in Canada. Francois-Philippe Champagne, Canada's Minister of Innovation, traveled to the Tesla factory in Fremont, California earlier. This has sparked a whole new round of speculation about Tesla expanding into the Canadian market with a new gigafactory and possibly even a resource extraction contract. Although Minister Champagne has stated that he visited the site to hold a meeting with senior management of Tesla to discuss how their vehicles will function in Canada's tough winters, it may not be the case. Tesla vehicles have already been functioning in Canada for some time now, so the discussion was probably more about the future of Tesla's business relationship with Canada. The fact that Tesla and the Canadian government have met four times during the past year and a half and Tesla has been pressing the government of Ontario to develop an advanced manufacturing facility as well as to acquire access to Canadian mineral deposits including nickel, lithium, cobalt and graphite which are all essential components of batteries indicate toward something bigger. Tesla is moving forward with its Ontario approach by employing a senior government official from the local area in Canada. It has been stated that Adim Ladakh, a geological engineer from Toronto, has been engaged to lead something at the company termed Government Policy Critical Minerals and Supply Chain. Before beginning his employment with Tesla, Ladakh worked for the Ontario Ministry of Mines as a senior mineral economist and battery minerals advisor. Thus, this is a really astute move by Tesla. Ladakh must be able to use his connections within the government to facilitate negotiations and locate the supplier chains that offer the greatest potential for efficiency for Tesla to exploit. Despite all this, it is not quite certain whether Tesla will finally select Ontario or the adjacent province of Quebec as the location for the first factory in Canada.